Step inside any church in East Texas, there's a good chance the stained glass windows were designed in this studio on the brick streets of Nacogdoches. David and Teresa Darby opened glass castles after getting married and moving to East Texas. We have found that there's a lot of small country churches without big budgets. It's been a labor of love for 38 years. Live together, drive to work together, eat together, work together, go home together. We've actually been married four times that long. Working side by side, they say their relationship is stronger. It might also have something to do with their success. They've crafted stained glass windows for more than 250 sanctuaries in the region. They come into a church like this and they feel a sense of holiness that's, that's not in just a, a normal building. This centuries-old art form finds its roots in teaching. Stained glass was put in church windows long before people were literate and long before the Bible was printed. They've got a picture in their brain now that, that makes them want to to lead a holier life and to change what they're doing. Their approach is narrative, windows that tell a story through scenes, often from the New Testament. Using these focus points in the life of Christ or in picture of a saint, an icon, it really helps us to know ourselves better as we try to know our maker better. Even Teresa says she's felt a deeper connection working on several projects, including painting a window at First Christian Church. And was trying to figure how does blood flow from the nail through the toes and realized that was Good Friday. Little reminders, she says, of the master artist. It was just kind of like, whoa, <laughs> just a moment. Those moments inspired the Darbys to share their passion outside the studio. For 16 years, David has ministered to others as an ordained deacon, while Teresa teaches religion classes. Prayer really has kept us together. We're really doing what God wants us to do here instead of really making a plan. A relationship, career, and vocation made vibrant through the power of prayer. Lane Lucky, East Texas News Midday.